Hey everybody, this is yours truly, Bob Deneen, reporter for mcbnews.com, your online internet news source. We're here at the fabulous Sunset Gower Studios, located in the heart of Hollywood, California. We are covering the new Filmmakers Showcase, where filmmakers from across the globe screen their short films to our Hollywood community. As you can see, we have an amazing crowd. All the actors, directors, and producers are walking the red carpet. So let's join in and talk to these up-and-comers and our future A-listers. All right, I'm back on the red carpet with Jose Enrique Rivera Rivera, the director, producer, writer, and overall genius behind Menuda Herbe, see? Ur Urbe, Urbe, God, I've got to go back to Berlitz. At any rate, why don't you tell me a little bit about what the process of this film was for you? I mean, in terms of the fundraising, in terms of the direction, things like that. Well, uh, Menuda Urbe was uh, absolutely self-produced with no budget at all. So, uh, yeah, I worked with the less materials I could use. Like, I was using a borrowed camera from a friend. I was using a borrowed face from some friends. Then I was using a calligraphy table from my mother. And uh, I, uh, it is all cut out animation. Uh, I printed it all at home, then I cut it out at home. And so I think I'd spend about maybe not more than 120 bucks in the whole production. And it was all the inversion of time. I spent about a month and a half, and that was about 350 hours working. I would do about 10 to 16 hours a day and that would give me that would take me about four or five seconds in my animation. So it was a really slow process, but one I really enjoyed a lot. So Wow, and then I understand this is not your first film, it's just your first film on the film circuit, is that correct? That's right, that's right. I've done a little uh, other like shorter films. Uh, actually I started doing stop motion because uh, I'm a uh, fine artist. I, I do sculptors and I then make them, animate them, and give them lives. So that's how I came by to stop motion. And like my previous projects have been like small, small uh, stories of my creations, my, my sculptors and stuff, so yeah. Very, very interesting. Now, where do you see your future going? Do you see it more in filmmaking or in, in, in visual arts such as sculpting or, or a combination of both, continuing with that? Well, I think it's, it's always gonna be a combination, but uh, to me, Animation is like the last step a, fine, a, a piece of art could uh, be led to. So in a way, I won't stop being a fine artist, but I'm a filmmaker that, I mean, I found that all my artistic interest would merge in stop motion animation. So yeah, I'm always doing film, but at the same time, I have to build everything I use. So yeah, I won't stop being either of them. <laughs> Fantastic, good. Anything you'd like to say to your new your new neighbors here in Los Angeles now that you're going to be living amongst us? Well, I'm very glad I'm going to be coming here. Uh, and yeah, this is a land of opportunities to me. <laughs> like LA, because in Puerto Rico it's really hard to produce and to especially animation. Uh, I mean, I am self-taught in animation also. There are no animation schools in Puerto Rico, so I'm very happy I'm finally going to have like a formal education in animation. Fantastic. Thanks so much, Jose. I appreciate your time tonight. Have a good